back in the kitchen. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what we're doing here. Board for ideas. So I looked up Burmese curry and uh, in particular aubergine because we had an aubergine that needs eating. So Donna's gonna have that and I'm gonna have a chicken version. So we've got some chicken there already, skinned, ready to go. We've got some aubergine here, which I've just baked off in the oven with some oil. Right, so let's take that out now. It's nicely browned, it's ready to go. Don't ask why I use this method. Dana just really likes it when we bake them off and then just chuck them in last minute. So uh, apparently they don't go soft enough if you try and cook them from scratch. So these are literally all the ingredients I can find. It's as uh, Burmese as we can get with our uh, fair trade Demerara sugar by Sainsbury's. Um, that's going to be used instead of palm sugar because we don't have any anymore. Um, so a little bit of chili powder. Uh, got some peanuts. Some soy sauce for her, that is. The fish sauce is for me. I might mix and match myself, I'm not decided yet. There'll be a pinch of turmeric. Um, some red onions aren't actually in the recipe, but uh, I don't have enough shallots, so I'm gonna go red onions and shallots. Galangal, this is frozen, as Per mentioned before. Don't want to froze a load of galangal. So that's not even in the recipe either, nor is the lime. The thing is, right, because without the lime and the galangal, to me, this totally looks like it's not going to work. So I've got some emergency sort of um, things in there which is going to help with the flavour. And if uh, shit hits the fan, then I'm going to throw some garam masala in to save the day. So let's see how this all uh, let's see how this all works. Mm. Forgot to mention the accompanying oolong tea. I'm drinking some of that as I go along. So this is a kind of a, an orangey flavour. I mean, not orange-orange, but basically imagine a cross between black and green tea with a kind of a, a little smooth orangey type of feel to it. All right, so next stage. Got all the ingredients, uh, all the vegetables and the turmeric, and I mashed them literally with a potato masher. All right, we've got our sizzle on. That's the gallon girl alone at the moment both pans and uh, just so you know I added to this mixture I threw in the sugar I also drizzled over some olive oil well it's not it's a uh, vegetable oil I'm using I ain't cooking with that olive oil today no nope. pure vegetable oil what's cracker lacking all right so this is uh, the aubergine in with the mix it's smelling pretty nice. Buffing up the aromas of the uh, shallots and everything. There's peanuts in here as well, I don't know if I mentioned that. They're already in the mix. And basically the chicken version is exactly the same, just with chicken. You can see that's sealing pretty nicely. We're going to cook these off for another couple of minutes. And when I do, I will be adding some water. There's a cup there. I'm going to take it easy because I don't want to water this down too much. There's already not very much going on inside. So while we wait, let's add some salt. It's supposed to be around about two teaspoons. I think we can guesstimate that. A shake, maybe just go around twice. Same again, so I've got to move the shit out of the way. There we go, it's roughly two teaspoons. I'll just get that all mixed in. Cooking. Get in there. There we go. Alright, 
I'll be back. Next phase. So uh, crank these up because next we're going to add some cold water. As I say, we'll do this in moderation. See how this fucking works out. So there's half a cup to you. Oh shit, that's a full cup. That's actually not that much. Let me go and get myself some more water. I just don't trust this recipe. I don't want to throw loads of shit in. This is going to take the taste away. So here's coconut milk. Also in the cupboard. See if she gets bad. There you go. That's what's going on there. So we've got them cranked up now to max. Not like boiling away nicely. It will be very soon. This is well, it's looking edible. It's got some colour to it. Right, next up, danger zone. This is the chilli powder. I have had a customer complaint that I've been putting too much in her meals, so uh, a heap teaspoon. It's probably a bit too much for me, even. There you go. You can have a sprinkle in there. Try not to overdo it. We'll do the chili powder today. Next, soy sauce for her. It's meant to be three tablespoons. So maybe this is where the flavour comes in. It's meant to be fish sauce. But fuck it. Get up a variety. She don't eat the fish. Alright, man. It's got to taste like something. One, two. Forget how easy it is to fucking overdose on that. Right, let's get all this stirred in then. Get the spices mixed around. A chili, should I say? Spices my ass. As far as I'm aware, that's everything that goes into us, officially. Finally, I'm going to do it. I'm going to chuck some lime in. Hope for the best. I'll be back in a few minutes with a little taste tester to see how it's coming along. All that time I've lost my fucking spatula. I don't know where it's gone. Threw a bit of spinach and shit and giggles. Stir that up. Oh, there we go. It has returned. Okay. I swear I looked in there as well. I could look directly at something and still not find it. Yeah, it's going to stay on there, stay on a low heat for another 10 15 minutes. But for this one, it's taste to test time. Let's see how this tastes. Moment of truth, just grab a bit of a sauce, add a bit of peanut. Maybe, yeah. Just for sauce, that's all I care about. Okay. Alright. Interesting, yeah. That actually tastes like something. I'm going to have to give it another go. Hang on. I don't believe it. Try something with some aubergine in. A bit of tomato. Mmm. That's totally nice. Shit. That's insane. Alright. And there you have it. Burmese aubergine curry. It's done, by the way. Turn that shit off. Fuck me, I've surprised myself. Right. So that's it. 
Mine's a different colour for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, that's it. I will send you a photo probably. Maybe a small vlog. Once it's dished up. This is for later tonight, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover it up. And let it stew with the heat off. Until tonight, let both flavours sink in. Alright man. Hope you enjoyed this vid. Longest one ever. There we have it. That's a chicken curry, Burmese style. That uh, green on there, that leaf is some coriander. We've got a bit of spinach as well. There is some chilli in there somewhere as well, some red chilli. I can't see it. Be buried under all that. And the vegetarian version comes out a different colour with a dark soy sauce. Fried egg on top. That's how Dana rolls. The aubergine Burmese curry.